Hey everybody, Blue here. I just wanted to give a quick little update that I learned all the PLL algorithms today. I didn't learn all of them today, but today I can officially say that I know full one look PLL. And that is a big deal for me because I've been cubing for almost seven years and I have not made any significant progress in my solving speed in a long time. Uh, and I'm trying to change that by practicing more. And today, uh, I, for the first time ever, have done every PLL algorithm without looking. That's what you're watching right now on screen. I am not looking at any references here. It is just me doing them from memory. Uh, some of them I need to practice more, definitely, because I'm still kind of slow and I have to think about them. They're not quite muscle memorized. But I am really excited about this. So I thought I'd make a quick video about it and let you guys know that I know full PLL now. So that's cool. Uh, eventually I'm probably gonna go on to learn full OLL, but I probably won't do that for a while. I have some other things that I wanna work on on my solves, mainly minimizing pauses and focusing on look ahead, uh, making my F2L a little bit more efficient and making my inspection time a little bit more efficient are some of the things that I plan to work on in the near future before I start on OLL. But yeah, so the way I do PLL right now uh, it's probably not the most optimal way. Um, I use my left hand for any algorithms that have like a mirror variant, uh, like the J perm, the N perm, and the R perm, for example. Uh, I just do the same algorithm, but mirrored, which is not the fastest way, but it is a way that I was able to memorize today. So yeah, that is cool. Anyways, I am gonna end the video here. This is all I really wanted to say, just a quick little update. So yeah, okay, thanks for watching, bye.